Hello guys, this is Pavel Skorov from Laravel Daily Team and today in this video I want to show you how we are trying to use GitHub issues for our team as a project management tool. So GitHub issues, usually people understand that as a bug request feature, so someone from open source community opens an issue and then you solve it or not. But actually for private repositories, which we pay for GitHub currently, you can use it as a project management tool instead of like Trello or Basecamp or Asana or whatever you use for, for GitHub issues or email, Google Docs, whatever. It's not that convenient, but convenience comes to developers. So they commit to a particular issue, then they open a pull request, and then it's crystal clear what functions are going into deployment process of that particular feature set, you can call it. So I'll show you how it's done within our team. As an example, we have that, uh, well, it's public in this case, but it's uh, same for private repositories. We have classified demo project for uh, Laravel 5.5 directory. And recently we released a Vue.js version. So I will open an issue to, uh, to commit into readme the link to that Vue version. So let's do that exactly. Uh, new issue. An issue would be, I'm doing that by the way as a creator of the repository which is Laravel Daily, our official GitHub for the team and then I will assign that to myself, to Povilus and I will resolve it now. So update the readme for view version. Maybe some description but it's not needed and I will assign myself. Submit new issue. Okay, so there's new issue and its ID is 5 and then I go into another browser, I'm logged in as, uh, as Povilus and I should see one issue assigned to me. Yes, there are two issues and this one. Right, so let's solve it now. Uh, I will do it uh, in online on GitHub directly but uh, in real life you probably clone the repository, do this thing and uh, commit into a develop branch. Uh, actually, let's do the develop branch. Uh, we have, wait, we have master, but let's create a develop branch. Develop, create branch develop. Not sure if you knew that feature uh, on GitHub, I only recently found out that that's the way you can create branch. Okay, so we've created a branch and now it's the active one and then on develop branch I will update the readme file so I go to readme file click edit here uh, and then I have a link to this one which is a new repository Vue.js version of the same project uh, and I need to open that mm, let's put it here so notice that's a markdown syntax uh, we released a uh, Vue.js version of this project and let it be a link to this. Mm. Okay, so I commit the change and what I do here is I will add a description updating the readme for view version and important thing closes issue 5. So that's in the commit message uh, it will automatically close. Well not automatically I'll show you now. So I will commit directly to develop branch. So that is committed. Now issue is still open because uh, yeah it's still open and now I need to do a pull request which is a pull request from develop to master and this is the text and this is the link actually the thing what is done here closes five that's a syntax to inform github to uh, reference the commit to actual github issue so if I if I click hash 5 here, I will open the same issue and that's actually added as a comment to the same issue. So it's all interconnected and that's what makes it really uh, convenient for developers. 
so I will create a pull request and then really GitHub okay mm -hmm. okay we've created a pull request I hope it's not related to recently Microsoft acquiring GitHub <laughs> uh, that's the, the that's when I'm filming this video after the news has been gone so Microsoft will acquire GitHub and I hope those bugs will be just just a temporary thing right so let's get back to uh, to me as a project creator and let's close that issue here I have pull request which I will merge merge pull request I can confirm that and the merge is done and the magic what is happening now is there will be only one open issue the issue that I've actually closed it's automatically closed so I didn't do any uh, mark as closed or any button that actually closes the issue the main point here is that a developer uh, while doing the commit message he just uh, writes closes issue number four or five or whatever and then the CTO or whoever is responsible for that project merges the pull request and then that issue is closed automatically. So this is the way how we're doing it internally. Uh, the problem with that is uh, one, oh actually I've got an email about that, uh, that pull request. Uh, so the issue with that is how to, how to use that with clients. So clients are non-technical people, they won't open GitHub issues, they won't know how to reference them and stuff like that. So uh, we're still using Trello for clients which are not technical. If we have internal project or if it's managed completely by our team, we're doing totally GitHub issue. But if there is a client adding tasks, we still use Trello or Asana or whatever that client prefers. And we're in process of uh, creating our own tool to export Trello tasks into GitHub issues. Uh, we actually tried to use Zapier for that. Zapier is quite a new tool. Well, new, relatively new, it's pretty popular now. Zapier uh, basically connects different APIs. So in our case, Trello API is connected to GitHub API and automatically create an issue. But the problem with that is that it doesn't copy Trello comments, attachments, uh, labels, and whatever's new happening with the card. It's pretty tough to, uh, to basically to navigate. So we're creating our own tool now to uh, connect those two APIs. We'll probably release that tool in public sometime later this month. Uh, but yeah, but internally using GitHub issues is pretty pretty good way of managing the development of the process from developer point of view. What do you think about that? Uh, shoot in the comments your opinion. Do you use GitHub issues similar the way we do? Or do you use Trello for developers as well? Uh, or use maybe Bitbucket, maybe Bitbucket or GitLab has something similar to, uh, to manage issues. Uh, shoot in the comments and let's discuss. Uh, if you want more videos about Laravel or, or development world subscribe to the channel Laravel business that's why it's called Laravel business because I'm talking from like business owner side of you while still being a developer so it's interesting stuff is happening and please follow the channel to get the latest updates or tips or tricks see you in the next videos guys